We start in North Carolina, USA, home to the Winston-Salem Open, the only ATP World Tour event staged at a university campus, all adding to this tournament's unique charm. Winston-Salem's a small community, but a really vibrant tennis community. And every year that the tournament's been here, Wake Forest and the local community have tried to find ways to continue to make the facility better. We built a, uh, a very nice permanent seating project that overlooks our practice courts. The goal is to continue to improve it each and every year. It's my first time here. The, the place is so good. The university is great. The facilities. And it's a good uh, preparation for the U.S. Open. The conditions are pretty much the same playing in, in US Open in New York, so I think it's good to, to play some matches if you, if you, if you didn't play much uh, before and to get uh, a good rhythm to, to play in US Open. Kevin Anderson knows what success at Winston-Salem can do. Winning the title last year helped him finally break the world's top ten. Yeah, it was you know, a really important week for me. Um, started off the summer a little tough, had a couple first round losses. So coming here, I uh, had a close first round match and then from then really turned things around because uh, um, I ended up getting a title and I think uh, really turned my summer around and prepared me very well for my run at the US Open. Steve Johnson began the week as the number one American in the Emirates ATP rankings for the first time in his career, a major milestone but the 26-year-old remains eager to keep improving. Being the number one American, you know, it really hasn't sunk in yet. The, with the start of the year I had was, was not the most positive of starts, and I've really found, you know, that second wind, you know, through the, through the second half of the year, and to, to be in the spot I am now is really just remarkable. But, you know, I still feel like there's a lot, a lot left for me to learn and a lot, you know, for me to gain from the sport. It's great for Stevie. You know, he's played well uh, recently. He didn't start as well at the end of the year, but he kind of had a hot streak so far. And really happy for him, you know, a good friend of mine. And uh, we played in the junior, so to see him do well and be the number one American is awesome, you know. It's our, um, we're similar in age, so it's great. I'm really happy for Stevie. He hasn't been out of college very long, but he was a great collegiate player. We really love having Steve here. So be able to celebrate with him as the number one American in the world is is pretty special for us. Another home hope enjoying the events was next gen star and wildcard Francis Tiafo, who spent some time with a few lucky fans. Obviously a lot of young guys and uh, girls and you know it's obviously good to see them having fun playing tennis you know because obviously you remember that when you were younger I mean that was only 10 years ago for me that I was uh, just like them so you know it's nice so you know connect with them and you know have a good time with them. Double specialists Eric Buterak and Scott Lipsky also joined in, taking part in a wheelchair tennis clinic. I might need a doubles partner. I knew it would be challenging. It was, it was harder than I expected. I mean, obviously, we got the skill of hitting the ball. That was hard, was fine. But just getting the wheel to, you know, going in the right direction, getting yourself turned around was so challenging. But, but good fun, too. So it was fun to see Eric out there trying to roll around in the wheelchair. It's tough. These guys that do it are tough. They're, they're really strong. So. It's impressive to see and we're fun to, it's fun to be a part of. Meanwhile, back outside, number one seed Richard Gasquet was eager for match play. This tournament was only the second event of the summer for the Frenchman, who was focusing on a strong comeback after injury. I'm feeling better, you know, and I have no more injuries, feeling, uh, feeling healthy, so that's most important. My hips and my back is okay, so that's why I uh, now I need to, to practice and play matches. The draw is, uh, is big, many, many great players are coming, so it will be tough to win the tournament, but you know, uh, I'm sitting number one, so I know all matches will be tough, but uh, for, for me that's the best preparation for US Open, and if I can win the, the tournament, I'll try my best too. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the big one in the Big Apple. The 2016 US Open gets underway. And we've an exclusive with an American player making waves, Steve Johnson. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.